Hello team and welcome to today's video. Let's create a search box that will highlight entire rows for us when your search returns a result. This can be a helpful way to highlight data you want to draw attention to throughout your spreadsheet. As you can see, text you enter into the search box will highlight the entire row where that text is found. Let's get started. To begin, I have a basic spreadsheet on the left that includes employee names, training names, training status, and salary. And I created a search box with a light green background that we can use to enter the text we want to search for. I do recommend using the name box in the top left to apply a name to your search box cell. I will call the search box My Search and click Enter. If you don't enter a name for the cell, make sure to use the absolute reference for the cell in the formula we will be entering, and you'll see here in just a moment. I'll also enter systems in the search box so that once our conditional formatting is complete, we can see our results. Now, highlight the data range you want to apply the conditional formatting to. And make sure to take note of the active cell in this case, which is cell A3. With us being on the Home tab, we can go to Conditional Formatting and click New Rule. In this dialog box, click the bottom option so we can enter a formula. Then in the formula bar, we will enter the function for our spreadsheet. Now let's talk about how this function works. We start with the IF function, which includes a logical test. The logical test in this case is determining if our search box is empty. If our search box is empty, the value of true should be zero. We enter this so that when we have no text in our search field, nothing will be formatted on the spreadsheet. For the value of false, we enter the search function, which contains two required arguments. Excel asks us first what text we want to find, which is the text we will enter into our search box. And for where to find the text, that is our data in the spreadsheet. Enter each column for your spreadsheet within the text argument portion combined with the ampersand symbol. Also, ensure the row number matches the row of the active cell, which remember was A3. Dollar signs go in front of each column reference, but not in front of the row references so the formula can shift down correctly in our data. Now, apply your formatting choice by clicking the format option I'll apply a light green background to match the search box, click OK, and then OK again. Team, as you can see, all rows that contain the word systems are now highlighted. And if I delete the search field, our results are cleared. I could also enter a salary range here as well. So if I entered 72,000, the rows with that salary amount will be highlighted as well. Another benefit of conditional formatting and highlighting your rows is it gives you the ability to sort by the color. So if I go to the Data tab at the top and click Filter, I can use these drop-downs for any of the columns and select Sort by Color and use our highlighted color as an option. And now our spreadsheet is sorted by color for the data we searched for. Team, I hope you found this tip helpful. Please like and subscribe to the channel, leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered, and I'll see you in the next video.